Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Tesis Zigana PX9. Some people may know it as Tysis or Tysas. It's actually Tesis. And it's a full-size handgun called the Zagana PX-9. I picked this up from AIM Surplus. It was $299.95 after taxes, shipping, and transfer. I have a little over $350 into this. It was an impulse buy. I said, you know, I've always heard of TSAS, and, and I want to know a little bit more about it. So I picked this up, and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now, at first glance, you look at that, and you say, that's a XD. It's a Springfield XD. It's like a total copy of that. And I agree with that. That was my first thought as well. Now I have an XDM here. And we can see the grip angle and the way the slide looks. Definitely more XD-ish instead of XDM. But it, it certainly models after that. But it is a full-size handgun. And it has some features on here that I think are pretty cool. Well machined. And it comes with a lot. So we open the case here, we can see that it comes with three, the one installed, this one here that is loaded because we're going to weigh the gun, and another mag here, three 18 round mags. Now on some sites they're selling them with two 15 round mags. I got three 18 round mags, two additional back straps, a bore brush, and a holster over here. All right, now it came in two pieces I, I just screwed it in with my finger there but you can't uh, you can't adjust the cant the way you want it and then just fits in there like that that lever needs to be raised to draw the gun because it does lock in there but it's it's okay it'll get you going I would suggest a form fit kydex holster or even a leather holster but it will get you going if you want to carry this gun it is a full-size gun with a four point five inch barrel and 18 round magazines but let's go ahead and check this thing out because we can see that it's a it's a good looking gun you know polymer frame striker fire handgun that offers quite a bit for a budget price check out that grip not very textured on the you know the back strap the front strap the grip panels i, I it's actually you know it could use a little more texturing let's just put it that way but it's it's not bad i think uh sweaty hands will will be able to tell the best but it's a decent grip additional back straps it does have a ambidextrous thumb safety all right both sides it's rather stiff but when that is engaged it will lock up the trigger and the slide and the recoil spring is heavy you know the first time i i work the slide i was like dang that thing is heavy but that will cut down on recoil we'll see if that loosens up over time good looking slide very well machined does have front serrations there serrated black adjustable rear sights and a raised front sight that is all steel i also noticed that on some sites that it comes uh, with a uh, tritium dot and this one does not that's all steel so i got the three 18 round mags but i didn't get the night sight i i haven't even seen that as an option i was kind of surprised when i looked at some of the sites and what they're offering with this handgun does it have a pick rail right there a decent looking gun rather heavy we're gonna get it on the scale now the trigger i'm measuring right at five and a half pounds it does not have a trigger bar safety in there a little squishy all right, come right to the wall, it breaks, and then there is your reset right there. It also has a striker fire indicator, and the back tells you that the slide's been charged, most likely a live round in there, and then when the slide's no longer charged, that red dot goes away. But to disassemble the gun, we're going to go ahead and lock it back, move this lever down, and we'll take a look at the internals here pull the trigger and off comes the slide rather beefy rails okay but that's what we're looking at and over here we have a dual recoil spring and an all steel guide rod and your 4.5 inch barrel it's pretty nicely made i have to i have to say you know when you when you purchase a gun that you really don't know a lot about i didn't know what to expect i said initially i did say yeah that looks like an xd no doubt about it but i wanted to check it out and here it is 
so I'm I'm pretty pretty pleased with it so far. I'm not sure if uh, you know it's gonna lighten up that uh, recoil spring weight over time. Maybe so, maybe not. We'll have to see. Well, let's go ahead and get it on the scale. Here we have an unloaded magazine. Let's go ahead and put this in the PX9. The unloaded weight 29 and 7 8 ounces. But here we have a loaded mag, 18 rounds. Not 15 like some of these are being sold. 37 and a half. Let's go ahead and put a carry round in there for 19, 37 and 7 8 ounces. So right around 38 ounces for the PX9 made by Tysus or Tisus. But I'm going to get this to the range. It certainly seems like a nice gun. We'll see how it shoots. That is the indicating factor that we need to figure out. I'm going to go ahead and make a range review. Imported by SDS Imports out of Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll see how it does. Certainly seems pretty cool so far. And, you know, TSS makes some pretty decent 1911s. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this Zagana PX9 performs. But so far, all indications is that it's a pretty cool and very well-made handgun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.